prepping because tomorrow is our friends giving I still have not used my duck eggs so I'm gonna put them right now into some torts and maybe I'll just bake them into like a kind of like breakfast bake with like different vegetables but I did this thing with Lizzie because we went to the same elementary school which is random because we did not grow up or like we didn't grow up hanging out at all but now we hang out now that we're adults which is interesting so we did this thing at our school our elementary school called Christmas around the world and we took oranges and we put cloves in them everywhere on them and then we hung them up in the classroom and it smelled amazing in their classroom so i'm gonna prep them tonight and go ahead because the video that you guys saw where i went and got these duck eggs and then i got a bunch of herbs and different things i got cloves from this local lady that grows everything herself i got a bunch of cloves from her so i'm gonna do that with these oranges and i'll make sure i show you guys because i don't think that it's a common I don't think it's a common thing for people to do. If you hear anything, also it's my dishwasher, sorry, but I needed to clean my dishes. It's been a really hectic, super hectic week this week. It's just been busy. I will look it up and try to remember what specifically country did this and you know why we learned about it because I don't remember that. All I remember <laughs> is that it smelled amazing. So I'll show that to you guys. Can't wait to show you my friend's giving setup. My old neighbor at my last apartment, Emily, made me a twerk one time and it was insane insane and she kind of like tweaks it so i'm gonna try to do the tweaks how she does the tweak she adds espresso to the mix Woo, so good and i bought espresso powder because i know that's a different thing but i'm gonna add espresso as well as espresso powder i'm gonna make it on my little espresso machine there and i'm really excited oh i'm also gonna be prepping there's like these hawaiian roll sandwiches my mom calls them funeral sandwiches i don't know if anyone else knows what i'm talking about if i call them a funeral sandwich but it's literally just a hawaiian roll you cut it in half and you layer ham and swiss cheese and you do this like spread in between if you want to you can add whatever you want you can add vegetables or whatever but you do this like butter mixture really it's just like butter based over the top you let it sit overnight covered and then in the morning you pop it in because we're doing a brunch so or whenever you're having your meal you pop it in the oven after that and you bake it for like I think 30 minutes it could be an hour and maybe it's 30 minutes either way it gets nice and like crispy on the outside and it's so good and it has these like dried onions I don't know it's just very nice so you guys will see that later too I'm also gonna be making hot chocolate in the crock pot which if you know me you know I love chocolate okay here are the Hawaiian rolls that I called the funeral sandwiches I'm just topping it with the like liquid that goes on top gonna be so good so you only bake it for 15 minutes actually and you do that while it's covered in foil <gasps> baby i'm actually already videoing so <laughs> what a nice surprise oh, thank you thank you baby. Yeah, baby wait it actually looks super cute you were acting like it was gonna be old looking Job. Look how cute! Thank you, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh. Wow. The eggs have gone had gone bad, which is really disappointing. But I just need to be more on top of it next time. Well, wow, sorry, I just woke up and I feel like I like, slept on my face. You can see lines on my face, but I'm making hot chocolate. Check it out. So I'm whisking in heavy cream with hot cocoa. Lester just came through with the eggs. He gave me an extra six duck eggs that I did not pay for because the chicken eggs are small. What a sweet boy. Where is he getting all these cartons? That's what I wanna know. We've got Lizzie here. Lizzie brought me these stunning flowers. Cute. We've 
got a butter turkey baby. Oh. opened up in our little town. I got the little cookie cold brew because it looks so good online. I don't even like Dunkin' coffee usually, but he really likes cold brew, so I'm hoping if I don't like it, he'll like it. Wow. That is good. Yours gonna be way better as well. It goes hard. Wow. Is that not pretty good? It tastes like fall. But in like a not too much way, I feel. Dang, that's pretty good. As someone that had never liked Duncan before this, I everything I had tried was way too sweet for me to enjoy the coffee. And so I will say that this is not too sweet. Look at it in color, it's like brown. I love that, like I wanna actually taste the coffee. And it's just the right amount of sweetness. Like they did such a good job. I got a small, yeah, brown sugar syrup, cookie butter cold foam, cookie butter top. Oh, Hayden's back in here, but it's really good. I really do recommend it. I'm impressed. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> what else did you get? Two Topo Chico's. Two bags of Mexican rice. Nice. Like a seasoning. Yum. Also, I got this wreath. It's real. I gotta hang it up. Like it's a real garland. <laughs> Hayden went to Kentucky and he has a bunch of like meat on ice. So. We had to come out here to the Piggly Wiggly. I'm being dead ass. We're going to come out here to the Piggly Wiggly and get ice to put his deer sausage on ice because <laughs> not all of it fits in our freezer, which I think is so funny. Hey guys, so I don't know what the last thing I filmed was. I think it was my friend's giving, but I know I was talking about wanting to make a tort because I had all these duck eggs that I needed to use because they were going to go bad. Well, plot twist, they did go bad. Um, that being said, oddly, coincidentally enough, the day that I realized that I had, or they had gone bad, the next morning, the guy that I got the eggs from, he actually, um, asked me if I needed any more. So I got some chicken eggs as well as some more duck eggs. So I am gonna make the tour. Like, are, this is a big egg. <laughs> like, this is a huge egg. Is this a duck egg or is this a chicken? I have no idea. Um, I'll try to just video me in the morning. I'm gonna look half dead, but it'll be funny. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna make the tour real quick. I didn't realize that the eggs had gone bad until I had already made the ganache. So I'm just going to heat up the ganache, melt it back down in the microwave, and then I'll let it cool because they need to be cooled whenever you combine it. And then I'll go ahead and beat my duck eggs with, I think it's vanilla and sugar, well, I'll double check. But I'm really excited because this tort is so good. And again, shout out to my old neighbor, Emily. She's the best for this recipe. I do think I'm gonna throw in an espresso shot. I don't remember where she threw it in at, but maybe I should just throw it into the ganache. I think I'm gonna, I think I'll do it. It'll help melt it down too, so. I'll do that while it's warm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that now, okay. In case you're curious, the reason I'm wearing a super fuzzy little zip-up jacket is because we have gas logs in here and like I just don't like to mess with the thermostat very much. I just prefer to leave it like it, what it's set on and I don't wanna turn the heat on really. I don't know, it's a me thing I guess. 
but uh the pilot light is out on the logs and we don't have a long lighter so i've been waiting for hayden to get home so he can light it because i'm not trying to potentially hurt myself on accident so i'm just gonna wait for him to get home and hopefully he'll be able to get that squared away for us so that's why i'm dressed that's why i'm dressed in a super fuzzy little outfit and pants inside look how cute these flowers are that lizzie brought me on the friendsgiving i put them in this little pink vase after the pink roses had gone bad but they're so cute i love them wow huge yolks Out. <laughs> said the center will fall so uh -huh, I hope it has enough space for the center to fall oh. hi <laughs> well it definitely fell all the way Get back, cat. Hayden came through with the Viva Chicken. I got, I love the stuffed avocados that they have. Got some beans and cilantro rice. What is this, just like a half chicken? Mm hmm Looks good. So you flip it, and then people usually put powdered sugar on it, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, it's still really warm. Wow. You haven't even. Oh, it does look pretty good. Oh, no. Oh. It's okay. I mean, hold on. Let me clean it up. Cut. Cut. Uh. Oh, it's because it's not all the way cool. Hello. Hello, Moo. Chi Chi. Cheech. Cheech, no. You gotta get, get off the here. counter. Get down here, my ears. This isn't for you. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I just want to note the whole thing would look smooth like that does if I had waited for it to cool fully, but Hayden wanted a slice now. Oh my God. Can't blame so, it on me. Well, that's why I just flipped it out. I was like, yeah, just wait a second and I'll flip it. But it's okay. It's just for us, so it doesn't matter. But like... But if I was to bring it somewhere, hey, if I was to bring it somewhere, I would let it cool all the way. Yeah. Who do y'all think you are? Tell me. Woo woo. No. <laughs> what do you think? I think I will have to have a very thin slice because it's going to be decadent. And I did put an espresso shot in it, so you might be. Bro, I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. What is this, a breakfast cake? No, it. Alfagato is a dessert. Oh. It's not that pretty. Quit getting shots of it. <laughs> is this the zoo? Is that the zoo feature? <laughs> okay. We took some cute little family photos here yesterday. I can't wait to see them. They're gonna be so good. Where are we going? Well, this is my dad's yard. This grass is Zoya, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready to go eat sushi at this restaurant that opened up in the tiny little town that I went to high school in, but it's actually so good. Like it's such a good place. I'm so happy that they have it now. So we're gonna go get, eat, or we're gonna eat that with my dad. But I'll try to video it because their Toro is usually fire. I put a little bow on my Stanley cup and it looks so cute like that. It's a real tree. Dad usually gets a real tree every year for me. And also like in our main area of the house and it smells so good. Like there's my little last name, so adorable. But I love the tree skirt and 
The tree itself is just too cute.